Thank you. Would you start by just giving your name and address, please? Yes. I'm Denise Stevens. I live at 11144 6th Street Circle North in Lake Elmo, Minnesota. Bonjour. Hello. We've met before, but for the record, I'm a consultant to Stillwater Schools Office of Equity and Integration, the American Indian Program. My part-time role is to coordinate and communicate on behalf of the Stillwater Native American Parent Advisory Committee. And standing behind me are the elders who are members of our committee, uh, and they are teachers of our youth, and they will stand during my presentation. I'm here to give a quick wrap up of the 2018-2019 school year. As you know, the Stillwater Native American Parent Advisory Committee began with the Minnesota Department of Education grant in 2014. Since then, the American Indian Education Program in Stillwater Public Schools has grown in size and success due to Superintendent Pontrelli's leadership, Eric Anderson's vigilant guidance, and the support of the school board. We are uh, pleased and grateful that the school board and Superintendent Pontrelli honor the spirit of the parent-driven model described in the Minnesota statute that allocates funding to school districts for American Indian education. And the Minnesota statute reads in part, school boards and American Indian schools must provide for the maximum involvement of parents of children enrolled in education programs programs for elementary and secondary grades, special education programs, and support services. Accordingly, the board of a school district in which there are 10 or more American Indian students enrolled and each American Indian school must establish an American Indian Education Parent Advisory Committee. The school board or American Indian school must ensure that programs are planned, operated, and evaluated with the involvement of and in consultation with parents of students served by the programs. In true partnership and consultation with the district administration, our Native American parents and grandparents in Stillwater develop an annual grant request and determine the program plan, goals, strategies, and budget. I particularly value the leadership styles of both Superintendent Pontrelli and Eric Anderson. They guide our committee to set annual goals in tandem with the values and goals of the school district and its strategic plan. They help us determine strategies to meet our goals and then trust us to implement them, providing resources and guidance as needed. Along with the school district administration and teachers, each year our committee guides curriculum enhancements and provides educational tools we feel will promote cultural understanding among all. Stillwater students and the greater community. For example, in our first year of operation, our American Indian Education Program reached about 90 students through fourth grade classroom partnerships and about 500 community members through family events. Our program has grown every year since, and in 2018 2019, Native American elders and cultural experts taught more than 1,000 elementary, middle, and high school students and connected with approximately 2,500 community members through the Partnership Plans Da Vinci Fest. And for the first time this year, we also received invitations from the Stillwater Area Chamber of Commerce and, uh, and the Sally Manzara Nature Center to participate free of charge in their annual community events. The events in early June provided public relations opportunities for us to connect with more than 9,000 people from all over Minnesota and Wisconsin, and we are thankful to them for inviting us. We are grateful for the visionary leadership of Superintendent Pontrelli and Eric Anderson to both our committee and Stillwater's American Education Program, American Indian Education Program. Their leadership and trust has enabled us to bring history to life in Stillwater schools through authentic cultural teaching and learning. We extend a huge miigwech, thank you, to Superintendent Pontrelli and Eric Anderson, and miigwech to all of you, too, for supporting our program. Thank you.